what possessed you to write this book as far as you're exposing the early days of the Satanic Temple and more? Hmm. Mm, that's a good one. Uh, there's a lot there. Revenge. Irritation. Justice. Uh, mental health care. Uh, so, you know, to... For when the when the, the satanic temple started, I pretty tried to ignore it. Uh, when it when it, when I had my rift with Doug and and uh, um, when it first started happen, when it, when we when we scored headlines and it started to hit and we had rifts, I just walked away and tried to I ignored them and and anything that was said about it, I didn't I wouldn't acknowledge. You you know you don't want to give power to your enemies, you don't want to speak their name, uh, you know if you don't have to, and at some point it grew. And then they started to have uh, their, you know, like they started to create propaganda to hurt me and my reputation or my, my character. And so I had to fight back at some point. And as a book publisher of 30 years, I've published a lot of books. It, it's just a natural thing for me to want to put stories into books, whether they're mine or yours or someone else's. And when I was cut out of the Hail Satan documentary and their history and how they started to talk about me having nothing to do with it, I was like, yeah, you know, I did a lot of work. I'm going to take my own credit then. And, you know, and then I just a lot of the harmful things that happened towards me and my family were a direct result of their, their cult members. And so it's, this is about fighting back a little bit. But it's also about bringing, bringing justice to the reality of the situation versus the ide idealistic uh, nature of their, their creation myth, which is a lie. And the idea is like, you know, this comes back to Anton LaVey. The first chapter in that book is LaVey. And, it, it, you know, Doug was a big Anton LaVey fan. And, uh, you know, he came to me as if how I met him is he was an Anton LaVey groupie. And, you know, being a person that was a friend of Anton's, Dr. LaVey, as we would call him, there you meet a lot of people that are really impressed by, oh, you knew, you touched him, you met him, oh, my God. And that's fine. That's cool. I wasn't like that when I met him. I looked at him eye to eye. He just was a he was a counterculture person. When I left, I looked at him like that. Don't get me wrong. I I, I understood he was a real cool guy and powerful, magical. 